Today we're going to be doing a humerus view. The routine views for humerus are AP and lateral. We're going to start out with the AP. Uh, the humerus is considered a long bone, so for all long bones we do need to include both joints. Uh, before we get started, we do want to make sure that our tube is center locked. We have a 40 inch SID. Our film size will be 14 by 17 lengthwise. Okay. We're going to put the shield on the patient. Okay, have it to the front. We're going to have the patient step a little off to the, the uh, outside of the arm. We're going to have the patient to rotate their arm so that the epicondyles are parallel to the IR. You do want to have them rotate slightly so that we can get the part closer to the board here. Our centering point is going to be mid joint. So we're going to have, we're going to palpating the elbow and the top here, we're going to have a midpoint between the two. We do need to include the uh, elbow joint and the humeral joint. This way. Centering to our film. Collimation, we do want to include uh, the entire joint, proximally and distally. We have correct mark replacement, not obstructing any pertinent anatomy. Technical factors for this, we're going to use automatic exposure control. Our technique is going to be 77 kV center cell. And we do see proximally on this view, the greater tubercle will be in profile. That will be a good indication of that we're seeing all the pertinent anatomy and again seeing to the distal joint. This will be our AP uh, humerus. Now centering for our, our lateral humerus, we're going to rotate the arm medially so the epicondyles now are perpendicular to the IR. The centering remains the same, mid humerus, including proximally humeral joint and distally the elbow joint. Again, the epicondyles are perpendicular. Now approximately what's visualized in profile will be the lesser tubercle. Technical factors remain the same. Uh, 77 kV center cell. This will be our humerus x-ray. Okay. 